pay-per-view stop on the road to WrestleMania. It's the Elimination Chamber. But tonight, we are back inside the Target Center in Minneapolis, Minnesota for the final Monday Night Raw before this Sunday's Elimination Chamber pay-per-view. Thank you for joining us here tonight and coming up in your main event, the number one contender for the WWE Championship, Mr. Monday Night, Rob Van Dam, set to go one-on-one -on -one with Cedric Alexander. These two men met here on Raw back on December the 28th. Alexander took RVD to the limit. They're running it back in your main event tonight on Raw. And we are set to kick things off from Minneapolis, Minnesota. We are kicking things off big with the New Day's Big E. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring. Hey, wait, wait, wait a minute here. It's Big E's opponent, all day Austin Theory. Austin Theory attacking Big E from behind. Austin Theory not waiting for the bell. These two men set to go one-on-one -on -one to kick us off on Monday Night Raw. Theory's first time in action since he lost in the ladder matchup on the Raw after the Royal Rumble. Laying out Big E on the steel ramp. This matchup has not started yet, ladies and gentlemen, but this is the contest that will kick us off tonight for Minneapolis. Theory not wasting no time. Big E making his way to the ring. And now Theory enters, and the bell has sounded. We are underway, ladies and gentlemen. We're kicking off Monday Night Raw with Big E versus Austin Theory, one-on-one. -on -one. Oh, and Theory going for the shooting star press. Big E getting the knees up. Got to be careful. You don't want to piss off Big E in the early moments of this thing and allow him to ride that adrenaline to the finish of this matchup. This is Austin Theory's first matchup here on Raw. This is the Raw after the Royal Rumble a few weeks back. And you got one-on-one -on -one with Rob Van Dam in a ladder matchup to determine the number one contender for the WWE Championship. Of course, RVD won it on that night. It looks like Austin Theory has had a fire lit under his ass ever since. We get back in the winning ways tonight, attacking Big E during the entrance. But we are kicking off Raw, your final Monday Night Raw, before this Sunday's Elimination Chamber. January 22nd, 5 p.m. Eastern Time. They're coming your way for the Elimination Chamber live from Anaheim. The Honda Center are going to be rocking this Sunday night as a live premiere right here on the No Nation Gaming YouTube channel. We'll be talking about Elimination Chamber all night long, but let's focus on the action inside the ring right now. The man who calls himself the now of WWE, Austin Theory. It's the second time in the match he has gone for that shooting star press, and the second time Big E has had it scouted. Now look at the big man. Muscling up Austin Theory here. Look at the strength out of Big E. Austin Theory might have bit off a little more than he could chew tonight. And the former WWE Champion hits the canvas face first. Now Big E. And for a submission hold here, possibly a Boston Crab a little bit. Austin Theory could be in a predicament now. Took a couple of falls there by the stronger competitor. With Theory able to muscle out of it. Theory now waiting for the bell tonight, attacking Big E on his way to the ring. Tensions are running high, not even on Monday Night Raw, but in Friday Night SmackDown as well. We are on the road to WrestleMania, and everybody's looking to find a spot on that WrestleMania card coming up at the end of February. Austin Theory unloading on Big E. Every win and loss matters around here, and I think Theory was trying to get the advantage tonight, and he finally hits that shooting star press he's been searching for throughout this contest. So to come tonight on Monday Night Raw in your main event it is a rematch from the December 28th edition of Raw. Cedric Alexander took RVD to the limit on that night. They are going to run it back right here tonight, just days before RVD will meet Randy Orton for the WWE Championship at the Elimination Chamber. Of course, that matchup will determine who defends the WWE Championship at WrestleMania. Against the winner of the 2023 Royal Rumble matchup, the original bro, Matt Riddle. So Riddle's going to have a keen eye on the matchup this Sunday between RVD and Orton. A match that will decide who he fights for the WWE Championship at the grandest stage of them all. Randy Orton, a man he's got a lot of history with, of course, unfinished business with, dating back to last year, if you will. His former tag team partner, Rob Van Dam. The man he was down to the final two with in the Royal Rumble matchup. History between those two guys as well. Very interesting scenario regarding the WWE title. 
Nonetheless, Austin Theory taking the fight to Big E right now, whipping him off, and the young man able to take Big E over. Theory wants to find his way onto the WrestleMania card one way or another, and a win here tonight can move him one step closer to doing so. Again whipping Big E off into the corner. Big E's really had trouble mounting offense in this contest. Austin Theory really fighting his style of fight right now. Started with the attack before the matchup, and Theory's continuing it from bell to bell. Into the cover. Not watching the rope break there. Austin Theory a little overzealous tonight, possibly. So itchy to get a victory, as it's been some time since Theory's got that meaningful victory here on Raw. I mean, not only did he come up short to... RVD a couple of weeks ago came up short, of course, in the Royal Rumble matchup. But wait a minute, wait a minute. Big E hitting the ropes. Big time splash. And the big man may have just picked up the victory here tonight in Minneapolis. And Austin Theory gets the shoulder up at a close call for Big E. Oh, wait a minute, Theory. Look at this small package here trying to steal the victory. Big E's all tied up in the middle of the ring, able to muscle out of it. Another close call. Austin Theory almost stealing the victory tonight on Raw. And now Theory. Oh, man, got the big man up, muscles him up for the power bomb, and again into the cover. Any means necessary to get the victory tonight. And again, Big E gets the shoulder up. A little bit of lackadaisical kick out there. The damage starting to catch up to Big E in this contest. As Big E's tag team partners in the New Day, Kofi Kingston and Xavier Woods got themselves a date with Johnny Gargano and Tommaso Ciampa DIY this Sunday night on pay-per-view for the WWE Tag Team Championships. The matchup that is going to be for the gold. So much more happening this Sunday in Anaheim. We're going to run down the whole Elimination Chamber card later tonight here on Raw. Nice counter there by Austin Theory. Big E able to dodge. Now Big E muscles up Theory again. Could be going for that press slam maneuver. And Theory eats the canvas for dinner. Drop toe hold there, takes the momentum back. Big E not able to capitalize just yet. Austin Theory now starting to unload some shots. Oh, wait a minute. Going A Town down on Big E. And that's got to do it. Austin Theory into the cover. No, Big E gets the shoulder up. Austin Theory can't believe it. He thought he had the match won. The A-Town down, but Big E has still got life in him. And again going to the small package here. Big E's close to the ropes, not able to reach out. Able to kick out, however. I don't know, Austin Theory, he's got to be shook right now, pacing back and forth in the ring. Theory cannot believe that he did not put Big E away off those series of maneuvers. Now Theory throwing the big man to the outside. Theory's got to... Watch his temper here, make sure he doesn't come unglued and make a mistake in this contest. Fight spilling to the outside of the squared circle. Cannot believe Big E was able to survive everything that Theory has put him through in this contest. And that A Town down, I assured, would have been the nail in the coffin of this matchup, but Big E's still fighting. And there's a nice counter by the big man. And now Theory with a counter as the brawl continues here at ringside and Big E stomping on the face of Austin Theory. And now look at this, a little bit of his own unicorn stampede on the outside of the ring. Now Big E sending Theory into the steel steps. Theory able to stop himself in his tracks, but wait a minute. An electric chair on the outside of the ring. Crashing and burn. Down goes Theory. Big E is taking the momentum in this contest. Can he bounce back? Austin Theory's been in control the majority of this match. Now count of eight right now. Big E's back into the ring. Oh, no. Now Theory, wait a minute, throwing Big E into the steel steps. And Austin Theory heads in. And we, of course, know that Austin Theory doesn't mind winning this match via count out. It's if that is the case, with Big E making his way back into the ring, trying to save this matchup for himself, but there's Austin Theory on the attack. A competitive matchup here to kick us off on Monday Night Raw between these two A-list Raw superstars. Austin Theory off the shooting star press again. And now what a right hand, or a left, I should say, by Austin Theory. Almost a knockout blow. Big E on spaghetti legs right now. Theory whips him off. Goes for a cut in the corner, but Big E able to dodge it. And now unloaded on Theory. Theory 
There's a counter by Theory. A lot of back and forth in this contest we are seeing as well. Oh, wait a minute here. Big E, a big ending out of nowhere. Grab Theory. Into the cover he goes. And Big E has picked up the victory tonight on Raw. Austin Theory, when he wakes up from that, is not going to be satisfied with the result. Theory tried all he could, attacking Big E on the way to the ring. He hit the A-Town down, unloaded on Big E throughout this contest, but in the end, the New Day's heavy. Big E catching Theory with that big landing. And what a way to get the victory here tonight in Minneapolis. Here is your winner, Big E. With WrestleMania looming, everybody in the Raw and SmackDown locker rooms are looking to build momentum towards the show of shows. And Big E picking up an emphatic win here tonight to kick off the final Raw before this Sunday's Elimination Chamber pay-per-view. Are we back? We're, we're back here on Raw. Ladies and gentlemen, evidently during the commercial break, some kind of chaos breaking out in the locker room between these two men, Jordan Devlin and the undefeated Karrion Cross. Management has sent them to the ring, and we got a matchup right here, right now, here in Minneapolis on Raw. All hell is breaking loose on the road to WrestleMania. Jordan Devlin, one-on-one -on -one with the undefeated, number one contender for the Intercontinental Championship. The man who will meet Pete Dunne this Sunday in Anaheim, Karrion Cross. I don't know what altercation took, took place in the backstage area moments ago during the commercial break, but nonetheless, management has sent these two men out there, and they are battling it out in the ring right now. Jordan Devlin made a beeline towards the ring, able to tackle Karrion Cross. And Monday Night Raw is off to a hot start tonight. First, Austin Theory laying out Big E. An incredible matchup to kick us off, and now Cross and Jordan Devlin. Tensions are boiling over on the road to WrestleMania. And nonetheless, Karrion Cross, as we mentioned, undefeated here on Monday Night Raw since joining the main roster, or turning the main roster, we should say. He will be the man that meets Pete Dunne this Sunday night at the Honda Center in Anaheim, one-on-one -on -one for the Intercontinental Championship. And remember what has taken place the last few weeks on Raw. Karrion Cross, twice in a row, has left the bruiserweight lane. Mandible claw in the ring, left Pete Dunne passed out. And then last week, we don't know who started the altercation, but cameras cut to the back between a brawl between Karrion Cross and Pete Dunne. And Cross laid out Pete Dunne with an Alabama slam through a table to the concrete floor below and then followed it up with a lariat knocking the Intercontinental Champion's lights out. And nonetheless, carrying Cross and Jordan Devlin, the Irish ace one-on-one -on -one here tonight in Minneapolis at the Target Center. And Karrion Cross is having his way with the ace right now. And I'm sure Pete Dunn is watching this match closely, scouting his opponent for this Sunday. Who's gonna find a weakness in Karrion Cross? and find a way to defeat him. Is it gonna be the Bruiserweight, or is Karrion Cross's undefeated streak gonna roll in to the Intercontinental Championship being placed around the waist of Mr. Doomsday himself? We're gonna find out this Sunday, 5 p.m. Eastern Time, live premiere, right here on the No Nation Gaming YouTube channel at the Elimination Chamber pay-per-view. Jordan Devlin is worse for wear right now. Karrion Cross beating the hell out of his opponent. And there's the Saito suplex. And I don't think there's any getting up from that. Into the cover. An emphatic statement made by the number one contender for the Intercontinental Championship. The altercation in the locker room led to this fight right here tonight. And Karrion Cross marks another victim Here's on the road to the winner, Elimination Karrion Chamber. Cross. Pete Dunne better be watching closely. The Intercontinental Championship hangs in the balance. It's Cross versus the Bruiserweight this Sunday night in Anaheim. And I don't know who. And if Pete Dunne's that man, we will find out. But who is going to stop the undefeated Karrion Cross? The action continues tonight on Raw with the final Women's Elimination Chamber qualifying matchup. It's the EST, Bianca Belair, one-on-one -on -one with Mia Yim, who will join the field for this Sunday in Anaheim. Plus, R-Truth has got his hands full tonight on Raw with the Nigerian giant, the colossal Omas. 
And the results of those contests see Bianca Belair requiring the final of the six spots in Elimination Chamber this Sunday. We'll see her in Anaheim plus Omos picking up an emphatic victory of Raw Truth tonight on Raw. We are back inside the Target Center here tonight in Minneapolis, Minnesota, but this Sunday we are going to be coming to you from the Honda Center in Anaheim, California. It's the live premiere event, 5 p.m. Eastern Time, the final pay-per-view before WrestleMania. It's the Elimination Chamber. Eight matchups signed for that event. We are going to run them all down after this next contest. The one half of the women's tag team champions, Indy Hartwell, set to go one-on-one -on -one with the number one contender for Asuka's WWE Women's Championship of the World this Sunday. The shiningest wizard, Tegan Knox. What a matchup we got signed for right now on Raw. And from the Welsh Valleys, Tegan. Well, Tegan Knox made her WWE return back in December when she went one-on-one -on -one with Shotzi in an open challenge for the Women's Championship. Of course, coming up short on that night, Asuka was the one to dethrone Shotzi and become the Women's Champion yet again back at the Royal Rumble on January 1st. But on the Raw after the Royal Rumble, that woman right there, the shiningest wizard of the WWE, Tegan Knox, punched her ticket to the Elimination Chamber by defeating Damage Control's Dakota Kai in the number one contenders matchup. So here we go tonight on Raw, Tegan Knox looking to build some more momentum before she locks horns with the Empress of tomorrow, Asuka, this Sunday at Elimination Chamber. And one half of the women's tag team champions, Indy Hartwell, Candice LeRae in her corner. LeRae has been dominant for several months here in the WWE. Remember, they made their way through three rounds of the women's tag team championship tournaments back in the fall. And since then, they have retained the gold of Alexa Bliss and Liv Morgan. Back at Raw Homecoming on December the 7th, and then back on January the 1st at the Royal Rumble in Toronto, they retained over Naomi and Sasha Banks. Indy Hartwell back in singles action tonight, but the way nonetheless still atop the tag team women's division here in the WWE. Tegan Knox, on the other hand, she's got her sights focused on Asuka this Sunday. She cannot take Indy Hartwell lightly, though. We just ran down the resume of the way. They are certainly impressive and know how to get the job done here on Monday Night Raw. It's all about building momentum for Tegan Knox here tonight. She's just thrown over the top rope with a stronger competitor. And Indy Hartwell heading to the top rope and dropping the axe hammer on the number one contender. Indy Hartwell, one of the most versatile athletes in the women's division. She's got the size and strength, but she's also got the agility to take it to the air, which she does very often inside the square circle. Tegan Knox, one of the hardest hitters, I would say, in the women's division. They don't call her the shiningest wizard for nothing. She's got a mean shining wizard, a mean choke slam from hell, and a lot of strikes all around her arsenal. A nice cross body by the number one contender as Indy Hartwell gets the shoulder up and the damage certainly being done. Of course, also this Sunday at the Elimination Chamber, six women will compete inside this chamber itself with the number one contendership to fight the women's champion at WrestleMania on the line. Bianca Belair securing the final spot in that matchup moments ago. We will see Bianca, Raquel Gonzalez, Rhea Ripley, Bailey, Shotzi, and the man Becky Lynch who returned last week on Raw. Those six women will compete inside the Elimination Chamber this Sunday night, and one of them is going to punch their ticket to Tampa Bay, Florida to fight either Tegan Knox or Asuka for the Women's Championship at WrestleMania. So many great options there, what the women's title match for WrestleMania could be. But by the end of Sunday night in Anaheim, we are going to know exactly what that contest for the gold will be come the grandest stage of them all. Indy Hartwell right now only worried about her victory. What a DDT! And the momentum of the number one contender might have just been sidelined for good, able to get the shoulder up. What a maneuver by one half of the women's tag team champions. Tegan Knox is in trouble right now. What a hip toss, hip throw by Indy Hartwell, who is all over the number one contender, certainly doing some damage. And there's a missile drop kick. And Tegan Knox maybe heading into Anaheim. Flat as a bug, but Tegan Knox gets the shoulder up. Knox able to survive some of Indy's best offense, and Indy Hartwell's got to be wondering what it's going to take to put the number one contender down. Wait a minute, roll up here. 
Too close to the ropes. Tegan trying to steal the victory. You know how tough Tegan Knox is. She has come back from not one, but two ACL surgeries in her career. One of the toughest women in the women's division today. She's absolutely earned the right to fight Asuka this Sunday, and she's proving it even more right now. Indy Hartwell's in trouble. Tegan Knox trying to fight back. Oh, looks like she was going to go for a kick there, but Indy Hartwell able to block it. And again, the strength coming in to Indy Hartwell's favor. And now hanging Tegan Knox up on the middle rope. And one half of the women's tag team champions is all over the number one contender here. And she went back to the top rope. Tegan was out of the way, able to calculate it there. Again, Indy Hartwell. She is all over Knox tonight. And Tegan Knox may be in trouble. And, and not even just in this match, but if this match continues on, no matter a win or loss tonight, Tegan Knox is not going to be going into Sunday against Asuka 100%. This is a physical matchup. She has taken a lot of offense in the ways Indy Hartwell tonight. Trying to fight back here. She's got to get this match done. She does not want to go into a match with Asuka this Sunday. Far away from 100%. She's got to be as ready as she possibly can be to fight the Empress of Tomorrow for the Women's Championship. So much hanging on the line this Sunday night in Anaheim. It's not just about winning the Women's Championship, but it's about going into WrestleMania as the champion. Tegan Knox. Oh, look at this. A choke slam on Indy Hartwell. The maneuver that won her the number one contendership against Dakota Kai. And now Indy Hartwell gets the shoulder up. Man, these two women are tearing down the house tonight here at the Target Center, Minneapolis, Minnesota, getting a treat from the women's division. And Knox heading to the top rope and delivers a splash on Hartwell. Will that be enough to pick up the victory tonight on Raw? Not just yet. Indy Hartwell kicks out, and Tegan Knox has got no idea right now how the hell Indy is still in this. Oh, what an insecurity. We have got a fight on our hands in the women's division. Indy Hartwell ain't laying down for nobody. The way has been atop the tag team division for months for several reasons. And Indy Hartwell is one half of them. This is shoulder up again. And Tegan Knox. Giving this match all she's got. And Asuka's got to be loving what she sees. I'm sure she really doesn't care if Tegan gets the win or the loss tonight. But at the end of the day, the physical damage that's going to be done to Tegan Knox throughout this matchup is only going to play in the favor of the women's champion come this Sunday. Indy going into the cover, not watching the rope break there. Tegan head to the outside. And look at this, trying to outrun one half of the women's champions. Tegan's got to find some strategy. She hit that choke slam. It wasn't enough to keep Indy Hartwell down. That clothesline at least takes her off her feet for a moment. Indy Hartwell and Candice LeRae the women's tag team champions, they got their ticket to WrestleMania one way or another, but that doesn't mean they're laying down for anybody. They want to keep their momentum going, and it's been quite some time since we've seen either of those women take a loss here in the WWE. They ain't starting here tonight in their book. Tegan, again, takes down Indy Hartwell. Nice kick to the gut. Any means necessary to get the victory here tonight in Minneapolis. And Tegan Knox for a second time, a choke slam from Lady Kane herself into the cover. And a hard fought victory for the number one contender here tonight. The marvelous Lady Kane, Tegan Knox, tough as nails and she proves exactly why she is the number one contender an absolutely deserving challenger to fight Asuka this Sunday night in Anaheim, live on pay-per-view. What a matchup tonight on Raw. Here is your winner, TK Knox. Well, Asuka is a dominant champion, but will Tegan Knox be the one to knock the Empress up tomorrow off the throne yet again? And will Tegan Knox be holding the gold, heading into the grandest stage of them all? We'll find out this Sunday. This Sunday night, we are live, 5 p.m. Eastern time, right here on the No Nation Gaming YouTube channel, Honda Center, Anaheim, California. It's the Elimination Chamber. 
And now one but two matches to be contested inside the Steel Jungle. Ripley, Gonzalez, Becky, Bailey, Bianca, and Shotzi. Who will challenge the women's champion of the world, whether that be Oscar or Tegan Knox, at the grandest stage of them all? The other Elimination Chamber match comes your way, courtesy of Friday Night SmackDown. Four participants so far, two more still to be decided on SmackDown this Friday night. Cena, McIntyre, Balor, Ali, who will face the World Heavyweight Champion at the grandest stage of them all, WrestleMania. Just signed, the United States Championship of SmackDown will be defended as well. The almighty Bobby Lashley meets the new number one contender, the King of Strong Style, Shinsuke Nakamura. Who will be the women's champion come WrestleMania? Will it be the woman we just saw in the ring getting her hand raised, Lady Kane herself, Tegan Knox, or will it be the Empress of Tomorrow, the dominant and intimidating Asuka, one-on-one -on -one for the women's title? The Tag Team Championships of the WWE to be contested. The New Day have had DIY's number in singles action over the last few weeks, but DIY owns a tag team victory over New Day. Who will get the win when it all matters this Sunday night for the gold? The Intercontinental Championship has turned into more than just a match for the belt. It's a grudge match. The dominant and undefeated Karrion Cross meets the Bruiserweight, Pete Dunne, for the Intercontinental Championship. It's the Friday Night SmackDown main event. The World Heavyweight Championship is on the line. The winner of the 10-man SmackDown Rumble, number one contender, the show-off Dolph Ziggler, meets the revolutionary, the visionary, Seth Rollins. And it's the Monday Night Raw main event. The Apex Predator and the WWE Champion Randy Orton one-on-one -on -one with Mr. Monday Night Raw Van Dam. Who will defend the gold against the Royal Rumble winner Matt Riddle at WrestleMania? We will find out this Sunday night in Anaheim. But it is time for your Monday Night Raw main event live here for the Target Center in Minneapolis, Minnesota. Mr. Monday Night set for action. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Battle Creek, Michigan. Weighing in at 235 pounds. The whole damn show of the WWE took down the number one contender's contract in a ladder match against Austin Theory a few weeks ago. He was one of the final two men in the Royal Rumble just a few weeks ago as well. And now he's got another opportunity to main event WrestleMania this Sunday night when he takes on the Apex Predator, the reigning defending WWE Champion Randy Orton, an old rival in the Viper and the Legend Killer. And if RVD can win, not only will he become the WWE Champion, but he's got a first class ticket to the main event at the show of shows, WrestleMania in Tampa Bay, where he would go one-on-one -on -one with the 2023 Royal Rumble match winner, Matt Riddle. But he's gotta stay focused tonight. A young hungry challenger awaits. And his opponent from Charlotte, North Carolina, weighing in at 200 pounds, Cedric Alexander. Well, it's back on December the 28th on Monday Night Raw that this man, Cedric Alexander and Rob Van Dam went one-on-one -on -one, and Cedric took RVD to the absolute limit. An incredible contest. The replay is available right now here on the No Nation Gaming YouTube channel. But ahead of RVD's match with Randy Orton this Sunday, Cedric Alexander and RVD going to run it back. And Alexander's got to be looking at the opportunity ahead. A win over the number one contender for the WWE Championship could possibly put Alexander in line for a future shot of the gold as well. A big time main event, RVD getting a little warm up before Sunday, Cedric Alexander possibly getting a WrestleMania opportunity in some ways. Here we go with your main event, Target Center is rocking, Minneapolis, Alexander, RVD. And Alexander immediately off the get-go, taking the fight to the number one contender. Respect there between these two men. We saw them shake the hands back on December the 28th, but tonight is not about respect. It's about the competition inside of the ring, and it's about getting the W on the road to WrestleMania. Cedric Alexander also has got to be thinking about where RVD's head's at. Is RVD already mentally in Anaheim to fight Randy Orton this Sunday? If that's the case, Cedric Alexander is going to be able to take advantage of the opportunity tonight possibly get an upset over the number one contender. 
RVD obviously no, no slouch, excuse me, a number one contender for a reason, a WWE Hall of Famer for a reason. A man who has been the WWE Champion before, and he's looking to do it again this Sunday against an old rival in Randy Orton. Remember back in 2007, Randy Orton kicked Randy, or excuse me, kicked RVD in the head so hard, RVD went away for several years here in the WWE. Orton's first win, first championship win here in the WWE also came over RVD. Back at Armageddon, December of 2003, for the Intercontinental Championship. Got a current Hall of Famer and a future Hall of Famer. Two decorated careers meeting once again this Sunday in Anaheim, California. But Cedric Alexander not interested in this Sunday. He is focused on Minneapolis tonight, and he has taken the fight to Rob Van Dam. Alexander all over the number one contender. He knows the opportunity that's at hand, and he's looking to capitalize to the fullest. RVD, on the other hand, wants to keep his momentum in a firm way tonight. Super kick, follows it up with a beautiful standing moonsault. Now, Mr. Monday Night trying to prove why he is a legitimate threat to Randy Orton's WWE Championship reign this Sunday. Oh, and went to the moonsault again, but Cedric had it scouted that time. Now, one half of a former tag team champion and a former cruiserweight champion as well, Cedric Alexander, back in control of your main event tonight in Minneapolis. RVD with the counter, and takes out the leg of Cedric. These two tore down the house on December the 28th here on Raw. RVD picked up the victory. That was ahead of the Royal Rumble. Now, Cedric Alexander with an opportunity to get that win back here tonight. Meanwhile, RVD on the other hand needs to keep that momentum ahead of this Sunday. Split-legged Moonsault, a classic out of the Hall of Famer. Into the cover, but only a one count. Cedric Alexander, I'm sure, has watched the tape back over and over again to scout his match with RVD and to try to find a weakness here tonight. Nice reversal there by Alexander. There's a reversal by RVD and a clothesline for the number one contender. Back and forth we go. There's another reversal by Cedric. Springboard goes for the moonsault there, I believe, or cross body. RVD caught him in the rib cage with that kick. Cedric counters again. Back and forth the momentum goes in this match. Cedric into the cover here on Van Dam, and Van Dam gets the shoulder off. Alexander is not looking to see this opportunity slip through his fingers here tonight. As we mentioned, a win over the number one contender could possibly put Cedric Alexander in line to fight the WWE Champion, whether that be Rob Van Dam or Randy Orton, possibly before the Champion gets to WrestleMania. Alexander gets caught with a drop kick by RVD and a nice senton there by Mr. Monday Night. Again, RVD outlasted Austin Theory in a physical ladder match a few weeks back here on Monday Night Raw to obtain the number one contendership for Randy Orton's WWE Championship. RVD has absolutely earned the opportunity. Remember, he was number 30 in the Royal Rumble matchup. Came down to the final two with the man who ended up winning the whole thing, that being the original bro, Matt Riddle. RVD was so close to punching his ticket to WrestleMania, but now through that ladder match a few weeks back, finds a new opportunity, a new path ahead for RVD. Will he be able to capitalize he got get to really run it back with Matt Riddle at WrestleMania. He's got to get through Randy Orton first. I'm sure, RVD would love nothing more than to win the WWE Championship, defeat Randy Orton, an old rival once again. A oh, nice counter by Cedric. Cedric Alexander with the Spanish fly out of nowhere. Into the cover. Going to knock off Van Dam. Van Dam gets the shoulder up, but what a counter. RVD went for that spinning leg lariat. Cedric Duck, and he was able Oh, wait a minute. Oh, could have been going for the lumbar check there. He was able to hit the Spanish fly. RVD survives. And then he smelled the sense of urgency out of Mr. Monday Night. What a counter that was by Cedric Alexander. Van Dam back into it, but you know the damage has got to be done off an emphatic maneuver like that. With such ease, Cedric Alexander able to spin the body of the number one contender when crashing on the canvas, but now finds himself in a predicament on the top rope as RVD is looking to take Alexander for a ride here. Superplex, and Alexander's spine has got to be crying for mercy right now. Big time maneuver for Mr. Monday Night, and now RVD sends Alexander to the corner. 
Now unloading on the opponent. Number of kicks there. Arvidi knows how to utilize those feet almost better than anybody. It sends Alexander for another ride. Van Dam's looking good. Really started picking up the pace. Ever since Alexander caught him with that Spanish fly, almost a sense of urgency out of RVD. Not looking to come up short here tonight ahead of his matchup with Randy Orton in Anaheim this Sunday. Nice maneuver by RVD. A classic leg drop by RVD. Nobody does it better than the whole damn show himself. Now RVD, look at this, hitting the ropes. Speaking of classics, a rolling thunder into the cover. And that's got to do it. RVD going to pick up the victory. No, Cedric Alexander gets the shoulder up. These two men might be top in their matchup from December the 28th right now. That one tore down the house in Houston. Now tonight they're doing it again in Minneapolis. And my God, are they up in the ante. Cedric countered again. RVD countered and followed up with a bulldog. And Van Dam's got to be wondering how the hell Cedric Alexander was able to kick out of that rolling thunder. Out of all the offense in this matchup, you would have believed that would have been the final nail in the coffin. Now Van Dam, springboard, moonsault. RVD's looking good right now. Both men going for shots, and both men crashing and burning. Gotta watch, gotta slow down the pace. Don't call it high risk for nothing. Look at Alexander, he's unloading on Van Dam. RVD now giving Cedric a taste of his own medicine. Forearm. More of an elbow, a little bit of a forearm in there. But now, oh, wait a minute. Oh, my goodness. Poison Rana by RVD. And Cedric Alexander has got to be staring up at the stars right now. Van Dam up top. Boots so but he crashes and burns. Alexander out of the way. Cedric has still got heart. He's still got fight. He's testing his intestinal fortitude right now in this matchup against RVD. Wait a minute. Look at this. Into the crucifix, but Alexander saved by the ropes right there. What is it going to take as RVD whips Cedric off into the corner? And Dam now putting Cedric back up on the top rope. We've been here earlier in the matchup. We are back here again. Could be looking for a Frankensteiner. And he hits it, and Cedric goes dead center of the ring. And now Van Dam going where he's most comfortable. Back on top. Oh, look at this. Right in the wrong from a few moments ago. Moonsault, dead center of the ring. Nowhere to go. RBD picks up the victory here tonight on Raw. What a matchup. Absolutely topping their fight from Houston on December the 28th. Minneapolis getting a treat here tonight. Rob Van Dam successful over Cedric Alexander and is in the driver's seat ahead of his match with Randy Orton this Sunday for the WWE Championship. Here is your winner, Rob Van Dam. RV oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Speaking of the WWE Champion, Randy Orton has hit the ring in a cheap shot to RVD. Orton's looking to take an advantage ahead of Sunday. But RVD, look at this, fighting back, and down goes the champion. Rob Van Dam ain't having none of it. The adrenaline's still, it's still fueling. And a senton, Randy Orton finds himself in a predicament as RVD is looking to make a statement. Orton's down, RVD's headed up to the middle rope. Van Dam go for a splash, but Orton got out of the way. A brawl has ensued ahead of this Sunday's Elimination Chamber. These two men set the ballot out for the WWE Championship, and RVD turning the lights off for Randy Orton off that super kick. Tensions are hot and heavy tonight here in Minneapolis, but they will continue to be this Sunday in Anaheim. Mr. Monday Night. The Apex Predator, Rob Van Dam versus Randy Orton for the WWE Championship. Who will walk into WrestleMania as the champion? Find out this Sunday, January 22nd, live at 5 p.m. Eastern Time. Your final pay-per-view before WrestleMania, the Elimination Chamber. Face on when I chase like that, yeah, I play so strong with a knife in the back. I'm a swing home run like a baseball bat. Gonna see me rise if you hate on that. I don't play both sides, doing me no cap. I'm a rider.